Good morning YouTube. Well the rainstorm's over and uh, we missed out on the snow except on these little foothills back here. You can probably see right about there and there's another bigger hill over here right about there and you can't see the Bradshaw the big hill back here it's where all that fog is so it's pretty cold this morning I think it's 34 or so that's okay and we're gonna be working inside I got a special today you gotta see guys we are gonna do another pour as you can see uh, this is my regulator from my uh, uh, forge when I was forging knives and the hose uh, blew on it. I don't know what happened with that. It was in the process of taking the, uh, the hose off of the end over here and it just, it, anyhow, it leaked there. So got a new hose and it's the old regulator and it worked the last time so we're hoping it's going to work this time. But what we're going to do that's different is we're going to change the ratio. I'm going to do some bronze and we're changing the ratio uh, just, to, just to see how it comes out. The last one was uh, a 9 to 1 ratio of copper to aluminum for aluminum bronze. And this ratio is going to be a little different. And we'll, we'll just see how it comes out. And uh, then I'll tell you at the end what the ratio was, if, it, <laughs> if it's a good pour. If it's not a good pour, I'm not going to tell you anything. Okay, so there's the foundry. It's all hooked up and ready to go. And uh, we should be able to fire this puppy off just shortly. And let's give her a go here. Let's pull the lid. There we go. That's better. starting point and after that warms up for just a little bit here then we'll we'll change that uh, might change the view here a little bit too okay I'll be back okay it's running still with uh, 15 psi it's only been a couple of minutes here so I wanted to make sure how things are looking inside and it's getting red so that's good and uh, zoom see if I can get you in closer maybe Yeah, you can see there, that's right, there's the edge of the crucible, and that's the, the fire you're seeing is going around it, so we're doing good. We'll be back. All right, guys, I don't know. Yeah, you can see that. You can see she's getting hot. Uh, it's been about uh, nine minutes, and now it's 20. 21% uh, and it's uh, looking good so far. Don't see any problems, there's no leaks. Alright guys, I'm gonna preheat these down here on the fire for it to start. I don't know, you might be able to see moisture coming out of this. Then we'll put it on top of the there you go, see it going. Now, I don't know if you can make it up with the flame right here. 
the green now, that means the top is melting. And it gives us a little bit of a gas. And it heats the a bit. Okay, I'm going to pull the lid and see if uh, it's not looking like this guy. problem here in that that chunk of copper isn't melting and the output here is doing this from the this is my gas line coming in you can see it, it's burning inside here clear back to here and the temperature is Right there is 293, and right here is 236, and that's where the gas comes in. And up here is 462, 430, and that's 600 degrees, right where it's white. So I'm a little leery, not sure what to do with this right now, so I'm going to stop this pour because. If you look here, that big chunk isn't trying to melt, and I don't know why that is either, so. Okay, we'll be back sometime. All right, guys, I think I've figured out what the problem is. I'm hoping. Uh, on one of the restarts, when you shut down and shut your gas off, then turn your gas back on and it fires, the uh, fire was burning back up to Burger to clear up to the uh, supply line. And so I took totally shut it down and changed that the way that was. So now I, I guess a much quieter flow and the burnt of the copper wasn't melting before and it appears to be melting now. So. Alright guys, probably can't hear them too well, but they're pretty liquid in there. So I'm in there uh, Put the aluminum in now and get that to uh, melt in. Don't know what aluminum bronze uh, with a gross point ratio so we'll see be back
she was hot. There's some melt in there. Okay, didn't feel like it was all the way to the bottom, but uh, I don't know, pretty dang hot, but I was up to 27 PSI to try to get it there, and I don't think I should have had to go that high, but you can see there the crucible's still hot, but I don't know if I can shoot down in there or not from here, I'm on a tripod, so... You can see where I went up on the edge. You can see the pieces in there. Yeah, so that's not good. Because the little skull didn't make it that time either. If you look in here, that's what you're looking at in the bottom of the, the foundry is that's fire brick that the crucible sits on. And she's cherry red also. So, so okay, I'll be back. Oh, you can see. Dang, I wish that skull would have come out, huh? This almost looks like gold. Uh, the bar didn't totally pour either, it doesn't look like. But you can see the color here, and there, and there it looks like uh, more like gold than, uh, than bronze. But uh, let's see. Yeah. That's a horrible moment. <laughs> I haven't got more problems with that trying to pour it. Of course, this was a problem to start with, and I don't know exactly what the problem is here, but we'll figure it out. Let's see how he looks. Now, this is aluminum bronze. And what this was that was different, it wasn't a 9 to 1 ratio. I had, uh, I think, 15 ounces, 15 ounces of copper, and one ounce of aluminum. And it makes a beautiful color. Anyhow, I'll be back when this cools off. Alright guys, we're going to give this brass bronze, I'm sorry, it's not brass, it's brown. We're going to give it a, a little bath. Oops, cool off. That wasn't much, this might be more. Yeah, that was good. I got some here on the floor, I probably can't pick up. It made a heck of a difference in the color. Oh, the water's nice and warm. That looks really a lot like gold. I wish that would have come out. That would have been nice. But this is an okay pour. If I would have had the rest of the, uh, the bronze, it would have been really good. Let me back out of this a little bit. So that's not bad. Has a nice groove down the middle, all kind of rough. And the bottom's kind of different. So what usually happens when you change that ratio, if the ratio goes in the wrong direction, you can hit it and it'll shatter like glass. I, I don't think this one's that way, but I'm, I'm going to hit it with a hammer just to see. All right, be back. Hey guys, I didn't wire wheel it, but I just threw it on the scale here. It's 13.4 for that, and this little, what's left of a skull isn't much. It might be, this is 13.4 ounces, and he's going to be 1.6 ounces. So, that's not bad. I'm gonna, now I'm going to put it on the wire wheel. Be back. Well, guys, uh... I think I figured out what that one problem was with the foundry is uh, 
when you shut it down and you restart then it uh, fires in the tube instead of in the, the foundry itself so I've got a solution for that so uh, anyhow what we got here is 13 four ounces of aluminum bronze a really good aluminum bronze it's beautiful stuff and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video even with the troubles we had but uh, you know when you do this you're gonna have little problems once in a while so thank you so much for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up share subscribe give it a really good comment come back again thank you so much for watching these I really appreciate it